Ramon goes to a fountain that delivers an unlimited amount of water. He brings two empty containers, one of 7 liters and one of 11 liters. We're asked to give the steps to obtain exactly 6 liters. So hopefully you've already thought about this problem. One helpful hint would be to recognize that we could obtain exactly 6 liters if we were able to get exactly 10 liters in the 11 liter container. We could then fill up the 7 liter container, pour exactly 1 liter in the 11 liter container, which would fill it up, leaving us with 6 liters in the 7 liter container. And that'll actually be our last step in order to accomplish this goal. To keep our steps organized, we'll use this table here where this first column will tell us how much water is in the 7 liter container, and the second column will tell us how much water is in the 11 liter container. So to begin, we'll fill up the 7 liter container. So we'd have 7 liters here and 0 liters here. Next, we'll pour these 7 liters into the 11 liter container. So we'd have 0 liters here and 7 liters here. Next, we're going to fill up the 7 liter container again. So we have 7 liters here and 7 liters here. Now we're going to fill up the 11 liter container by pouring 4 of the 7 liters in the 7 liter container into the 11 liter container. That would give us 3 liters in the 7 liter container and 11 liters in the 11 liter container. Next we're going to empty the 11 liter container. So we'd have 3 liters here and 0 liters here. Next, we're going to pour these three liters into the 11 liter container. So we'd have zero here and three here. Next, we'll fill up the seven liter container. So we'll have seven liters here and three liters here. Now we're going to pour these seven liters into the 11 liter container, which will give us zero liters in the seven liter container and 10 liters in the 11 liter container. And now we're almost there. We're going to fill up the 7 liter container again. So we have 7 liters here and 10 liters here. And now we'll fill up the 11 liter container by pouring exactly 1 liter from the 7 liter container into the 11 liter container. That would give us 6 liters here and 11 liters here. And now we can actually stop. Notice how we have exactly 6 liters in the 7 liter container. And therefore we've accomplished our goal. I hope you found this helpful.